Nom, 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 nom. Is it good? Very good. Today I'm going to be testing out a crepe pan. I have never made crepes in a crepe pan before, so we'll see how it goes. I'll show you what's inside the box, demo it for you, and give you my honest opinion. The seller did send this to us in exchange for a video. However, all of the views and opinions in this video are my own. Word of warning, maybe not follow my recipe. Just, just don't do that because it's not my recipe and it did not work out super well, but that's okay. They tasted delicious and this pan is super nonstick, so it worked really, really well. So I was really surprised when I opened the box to find tongs and a spatula. I had no idea that this came with utensils and that's amazing. Oh, wow, that's smooth. So everything that comes in the box is a pan, the handle, the tongs, the spatula, and the swirly thing to make the crepe flat. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver to put the handle onto the pan base. As with anything that's going to touch your food, you are going to wash everything that comes in the package first. In hindsight, I should have realized that this recipe was not going to work out well based on the instructions, but I didn't until it was too late. Essentially, it's one cup of flour, two eggs, half a cup of milk, and half a cup of water. But you're supposed to whisk the eggs, the milk, and the water together first, and then slowly add the flour. That is not what the recipe said. And it has a lot of great reviews, so I don't know what's going on there, but um, this did not work for me. <laughs> Maybe all those reviewers are using <laughs> some kind of different method, but if you whisk eggs into flour, um, this is what happens. So don't do that. It is nonstick, but you still want butter because everything's better with butter. This is how I have to do it because the recipe was so bad that it is just a chunky monkey recipe. Then you take this little thing that they give you and you just kind of spread it out. I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon on it and a tiny little bit of sugar because you know, sugar makes everything better. Oh, look at that nonstick. That's quite lovely, actually. You can also use the little tongs, assuming that you didn't make a hole in yours. So you're gonna wanna wait until your crepe is as done as you would like it on the bottom. This is not quite as done as I would like it. Okay, now it's looking much better. And when you're done, you can take these, put them in the middle with maybe some whipped cream. If you have some whipped cream, we don't. So we're just gonna like fold this over. I also made one with blackberries, yum. And then I tested them with powdered sugar. They were absolutely delicious and I'm gonna be trying this again with a different recipe. 